Welcome. I'm Dean Kurtz. I'm the marketing manager for Furuna USA. And I'm here today to take you through a guided tour of our all new Navnet TZ Touch system. TZ Touch is the newest member of our Navnet family. It joins products like our long-standing VX2 line, as well as our award-winning Navnet 3D series. In fact, the majority of sensors that we currently use with Navnet 3D are also fully compatible with Navnet TZ Touch. That means you'll be able to use our existing ultra high definition radar sensors, digital fish finding technology, GPS sensors, and other accessory items. Additionally, the chart database that we currently use for 3D is also compatible with Navnet TZ Touch. That means each TZ Touch system is supplied with all of the NOAA raster and vector chart data for the United States at no additional charge. You'll also be able to purchase additional chart data from sources like Navionics and Jeppesen. Now let's take a look at the basic TZ Touch display design. At first glance, what you'll see is we've come up with a very sleek, all glass edge to edge design. This allows for a very nice, high tech, clean installation. Additionally, because we're going to a touch based system, we've been able to significantly streamline the hardware controls that are necessary to be put on the face of the display. At this point, we only have a power button, a home key, and our exclusive roto key interface. The roto key provides you with instant access to the most commonly used functions of the display. For instance, if I turn the roto key, you can see I can immediately zoom in and zoom out on my chart. By depressing the roto key, I gain instant access to all the most commonly used menu functions of the chart plotter display. But because Navnet TZ Touch is a touch based product, I can also simply touch the screen to gain access to those roto key functions and use my finger to scroll through and select the roto key option I would like to use. There are some times where you might want to utilize the hardware based roto key because it's more convenient. For instance, out at sea in rough conditions, it might be easier to just grab onto the roto key to zoom in and zoom out. In other situations, you'll use the touch screen. The option is yours. The next button we'll address is the home key. When I press the home key, I gain access to two items. I gain access to my display carousel where I select what display I'd like to use. And I also have access to the menu controls of the system. Now let's take a look at a couple of the touch gestures that are available within the system. The first one is a very simple panning or scrolling of the chart. All I need to do is place my finger on the screen and I'm immediately scrolling or reviewing the chart data and satellite photo imagery on the display. You'll also note that we've incorporated our very exclusive time zero technology, which provides for instant redraw and no delay of the chart refresh on the screen. If I would like to return to my vessel position, I simply hit center vessel and you'll see that the system snaps me back to my vessel in the center of the display. Now the next few gestures I'm going to cover are quite unique to the marine electronics industry. That's because Navnet TZ Touch is the industry's first multi-touch based system. By incorporating dual finger multi-touch gestures, we're able to provide some additional functionality and flexibility and ease of operation. The first multi-touch gesture I'd like to show you is a very familiar one to those of us that use smartphones or tablets, and that is called pinch to zoom. What you'll notice by just simply using two fingers on the display, it's very easy for me to zoom in and zoom out on the chart display. Another multi-touch gesture that we've incorporated is the chart orientation. Right now, I'm operating the system in a north up orientation. If I would like to go to a course up or heading up mode, I simply touch my vessel with one finger and swipe with the other, and you see that, that my orientation has changed. If I'd like to go back to the north up representation, simply touch, swipe, and I'm back to north up mode. Very simple. Another great multi-touch gesture is going into the 3D mode. We first introduced 3D cartography with our Navnet 3D system. And we're carrying that forward with Navnet TZ Touch because navigating in 3D is quite useful. Now we're making it even easier for you to access the 3D mode. All I need to do is take two fingers and begin swiping up on the display. And what you'll notice is that I'm now in a 3D mode. I'm adjusting the tilt angle of my 3D picture and then using those same two fingers, swiping side to side, I can change the orientation of that picture. Once I let go, that picture is locked in. And I'm now navigating in a 3D realm. 
If I'd like to return to a 2D or traditional top-down mode, I simply hit the 2D mode button and I'm back to a 2D chart picture. The last multi-touch gesture I'd like to cover is actually a custom gesture that you yourself can program into the system. By taking two fingers and simply tapping on the display, I've customized the display to go directly into my home page, allowing me access to my display carousel and menu. This is the same display I arrive at when I'm using my home key, but I've assigned that to a custom gesture. You yourself can assign the custom gesture to do things like lay down an event mark, a man overboard mark, or other menu-based functions. Now that we're in the home page, let's take a look at the display carousel. This is where I actually select which display I'm going to utilize on the screen. By rotating the carousel, I can pick and choose from whatever display it's, that's available to me, or I can simply touch a display like the radar and gain instant access to that on my screen. Using my multi-touch gesture to get back to the home page, I tap and now I have access to another display, which would be my chart plotter and my instrumentation display. So you can see it's very easy to select whatever display you want to use. More importantly, I can completely customize this carousel to my liking. So I can go in and hit edit. The first thing I can do is actually delete any of the existing displays that I'm no longer using. As you can see, there's a red X next to each one. But right now, let's build a new page that we want to use. I simply hit Add Screen. And once I do that, I'm in my custom page builder. This is a very simple graphically oriented page builder. I have a few choices to make here. The first one being what type of display do I want configuration wise? A single display, a dual split, or a triple split display? Let's select a display that actually is going to give us three display components. I simply drag that over and now I have a triple display. And now I select which display components I want to utilize from the bottom of the screen. Let's make this a fishing type display where I have the fish finder on half of my display. Then I have an instrumentation display in the upper right hand corner and I bring the chart plotter to my lower right hand corner. By simply dragging and dropping those items, I now save that display and here it is actually presented to me on the screen. Now that we've seen how easy it is to move around the display using the touch screen, let's take a look at how touch gestures will actually simplify our navigation. One of the things we say about Navnet Easy Touch is that we can simply touch and go. And what we mean by that is if you'd like to establish a new go-to point, I can simply touch and go. And what you'll see on the screen is I've instantly created a go-to point from my vessel to a new go-to position. It's that simple. Now, if I remove that go-to position, the next thing I'll take a look at is creating a new point or waypoint. Uh, that is very easy to do on the display as well. I can simply select the location of the new point, touch the screen, say new point, and my new point appears. Now I can go in and edit that point in any number of ways. If I'm not happy with the position of that point, I can touch on it and I can simply move it to a new location. Once I move it, I hit end move to, to lock that position in. I can also go in and edit that point. When I hit edit, I'm brought to a new screen where I can choose the color of that point, the icon that I'm using, a comment area, and even the position of that point can be changed. Additionally, I can bring up a full, very generously sized QWERTY keyboard that allows me to name my waypoint. So it's very simple to use the touch screen to actually name your waypoints. Once I'm finished, I save and confirm that, and now the new name of that point is right here on the display. Another method of saving a new point is based on position. I can simply choose a location on the display, hit latitude, longitude, and you'll notice a numeric keyboard now comes up which will allow me to edit the actual position of that new point. In fact, I can very easily use this dropdown to convert that position to Loran TDs. So it's very simple to instantly input a waypoint based upon position. Now, as easy as it is to lay down new points, the next thing that we're gonna take a look at can sometimes be cumbersome for navigators, and that's creating a new route. However, with Navnet Easy Touch and our touch gestures, it's very simple to create and edit a route. The first thing I need to do to create a new route is simply choose my starting point by touching the screen. Then, in my roto key, I choose New Route. At that point, 
I can then use my pinch to zoom function to zoom the chart out to now begin laying down new points along the route. By simply touching the screen, I'm adding points to my route. The display is kind of helping me because as you can see, it's automatically panning or scrolling the chart as I lay down new points along the route. Once I've finished and I've laid down my last point, I simply hit end route. And now I'm provided with the option to save that route with the current date or rename it. But for now, we'll just save it with the current date. Now, once I've saved it, you can see that I actually have a preview of the route at a specific range that I can see the entire route. If I zoom in, now I can actually begin editing the route if I would like to, to move or insert or delete waypoints along the route. By simply touching one of the points, I can now, for instance, move that point to a new location. Or I can go and say I need to insert a point somewhere along the route by simply choosing insert and inserting a new point along the route. If there's a point I no longer need, I can go and touch on that point and delete it. So you can see it is extremely simple and very easy to modify a route once you've created it. The final aspect of the system I'd like to discuss is that of wireless connectivity. Another great thing about these displays is that they have built-in Wi-Fi, which means I can wirelessly download information like weather forecasts that can be easily overlaid on the display. Additionally, we can also wirelessly connect to devices such as smartphones or tablets. This is great because we've also developed two new applications to run on your wireless devices that will allow you to monitor critical navigational data coming from the TZ Touch display. In fact, with a tablet, you can even take control of your Navnet TZ Touch display and operate it remotely. Let's take a look at these apps in action. The first app we'll take a look at is our Navnet Viewer. This app can be run on either your tablet or your smartphone device. You can think of this as a wireless data repeater for your Navnet TZ Touch display because we're streaming wirelessly all the navigational information coming from the display. And I'm currently monitoring things like heading, position, speed. We even have the highway mode for navigational purposes. I can double tap on any one of these components and get a zoomed in view and I can review each page individually. The great thing about this is that any sensor that's connected to the TZ Touch system is also viewable from this application on either the tablet or your smartphone. In fact, in addition to the data, I can also view my graphical fish finder picture right on my smartphone or my tablet. So think of a situation where you're fishing off of the back of the boat and you don't have a clear view of your normal fish finder picture. I can simply reach into my pocket and connect wirelessly to TZ Touch and see my fish finder picture right in the palm of my hand. The other app we want to take a look at is our Navnet Remote. Right now you'll see the Navnet remote is running on our tablet device and repeating the picture coming from our TZ Touch display. So the great thing about this app is not only that you can monitor the picture of the TZ Touch display, but you can also control it. By simply using any of the touch gestures that we went through uh, earlier on the display, now I can do the same thing on my tablet device. I can scroll and pan the chart, I can zoom in and out, I can lay down waypoints, I can even change my display. Everything that's available on the Navnet TZ Touch display is available from remote operation on my tablet device. So the great thing about this is that it's like having a remote display located anywhere on your boat where there's wireless connectivity. So whether you simply want to view your navigational data, see your fish finder image, or even take full control wirelessly of your Navnet TZ Touch system from your tablet, these two new apps offer the perfect complement to this system. Looking at the displays themselves, we offer two models. We have the 9-inch TZT9 and the 14-inch TZT14. Both of these are wide aspect ratio displays. They also both incorporate very high speed dual core Sandy Bridge processors. These advanced processors are the perfect platform to show off our Time Zero technology. So I want to thank you very much for taking the time to go through our guided tour of Navnet TZ Touch today. If you'd like more information on the system, please visit us at www.navnet.com. Thank you very much.